Hi guys. <laughs> hey guys, my name's Aubrey. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be doing something very, very suggested. So basically when I got Minnie, my hamster, um, a lot of people were saying that her cage slash house slash tank is too small. And I know, I know her um, tank, I would like her to get a bigger tank or a bigger house. Um, and I know it is kind of small, but it's actually not that small. It, like a lot of people were over exaggerating it and it is, it's not even that bad of a size in my opinion, but I did want to upgrade at some point. So the other day I was looking on YouTube and I was like, hmm, how could I upgrade but in a cheap way? Because there's tons of tanks and cages that are way too expensive. So it's just gonna be, just like wasting a lot of money. And Minnie's house, her tank is, um, I would keep her tank, but thing is that her tank is very short, so I cannot put enough bedding in there as I would like to. And that's like one of the main reasons I really want to get something new so i was looking at how to maybe get something that's cheaper or something and i came across the diy bin cage for hamsters and i was like watching tons of videos i was like oh this kind of looks like a good idea it's cheap and you can get a bigger house for your hamster so that's what i'm doing today i'm going to be um creating minnie's diy bin cage and it's gonna be super fun because and complicated because it's kind of a lot of steps i mean it's not that many steps but going through it is kind of hard so um basically yesterday i went out and got a bin i got a few other things and i got something right here i have some cable ties slash zip ties and i'm going to be using those um for part of the project and i don't know where the other thing is i got some what is it mesh wire for metal wire and yeah that's basically all you need but i'm going to be using a wire cutter and a knife or a box cutter and i'm going to be using that for the container and here is the container i'm going to show you guys here it is it's pretty big um her house is right over there uh and they are near the same size but we measured them both this is actually a little bigger the height is a little higher and the um length of it is way longer yeah it's gonna give her a bigger place to be and it's definitely way wider than that that one's kind of skinny and small but this one's way bigger yeah i'm super excited to do this i don't know how long this video is gonna take it may take like two days or something like that i don't know what's gonna happen but you're gonna go on that adventure with me and right now I'm going to go to PetSmart and we're going to go get a few accessories and maybe some more bedding for Minnie's dream house. I also want to look for a few other things. Maybe some um, herbs because I've been wanting to try those out. Maybe some chew sticks and maybe a few Heidi's. Like maybe one or two Heidi's. I don't know what I'm going to get yet. It just depends on what is going to be fair and guys i don't really have an idea of what is at pet smart because i don't go shopping there much but i did go there to get her bedding because i got this really cute bedding from there and i'm gonna go back because i've seen people go to pet smart and get stuff for their hamsters it was really cute so like hopefully we get some luck with my pet smart than i have where i live so guys without further ado let's go to pet smart So guys, we are looking at these water oh, that bottles. Fine. What? Oh, that's smart. That's way easier than getting Velcro. They may be more stable. Should I get this? It's cute. Little pink water bottle. Guys, we're looking at water bowls for many. It I should probably get this little pink one that it's cute as well. I think this little pink one is pretty cute. Okay guys, so we are in the choose and hideaways. Oh wait, that is cute. 
There's this guy's. It kind of matches with the theme though, because like it's pastel colors. So I think that's kind of cute. But this, I don't think she could maybe destroy it easily. Um, guys, I'm getting. I see this. Um, what is it? Bendy Bridge. And I've been wanting that for a while. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Oh, that's cute. These are more nature looking, which is really cute. Mm -hmm. This has a little pop of color, like the pink in it. I think I make. Is that one cute? Do you like that? This one better than that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, they have this. Oh, they eat on this. I think. Are they some? What? Oh my goodness. Oh, the, I wanted these. These are $1 only. I've looked up tons of good toys for hamsters. Um, so there's this little hide. There's that hide down there. And there's this, but that's big though. <gasps> Look at that's a ton on a high. Guys, I want to maybe get this, but like, I don't know if Minnie's going to fit in there, sadly. Kind of embarrassingly. Do you, do you, I don't know if she'll fit through that door, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess they can squeeze. I mean, she, she fits through anything. She, like, puts herself in it. Because I really want this. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's either six or nine. Look at that, guys. So should I, what, I got to try that. It's cute because it has a little window. And it has a little room for her to go in. Yes. Definitely. Oh. Oh, I think it's for guinea pigs. Wait, what is that? It's a little hot out. That's quite, that's kind of big. And they can crawl up it, I guess. That may be unsafe. Yeah, I would rather get that up, that one. Two dollars for that. That that's like. I see a lot of people use that too. I just don't know what she would do with that. Maybe. I was on my own mission because the water bowl did not have a tag on it, so I have to get another. Down here. In the aisle. We got the goods. Bag secured. Hi guys. So today I'm gonna to be taste testing some boba tea again. Like I did it in one of my other vlogs, cause, because like why not? Oh yeah, I just poked the pokey part of the straw into my stomach. You look good? Yeah. Okay, so here it is. I got the same thing as last time because I've tried other flavors and this is just the best. So my order, guys. Um, my order is strawberry milk tea with tapioca pearls. And here's this cute little thing. And I got a blue straw. Oh, I poked it on the side. I wanted to get it on the lips. It's okay. Remind you guys, I've not had this in like two months. Guys, this is good. Guys, if um if you've never had boba in your life before, I suggest to go get it. And if you do go and get it, then get this strawberry milk tea with tapioca bros. Oh my gosh, why is it so unfocused? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, guys, so I just got back from the store. After I went to Petsmart, I went to Moe's, and then I went to get boba tea. So, yeah, I did. I went and ate dinner. Um, but anyway, so, but y'all obviously did not see that. But anyway, um, so I'm going to give you guys a haul of what I got and the um, 
I'm just gonna show you everything that I'm gonna be using tomorrow when we start building it. I'm not gonna be doing it tonight because it's pretty late. And it is currently, let me show you. It's currently 9, 10, Friday. Um, it's 9 p.m. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a haul and we're gonna do it tomorrow. But I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I'm gonna be using tomorrow. So let's do it. So basically, I'm gonna start off actually with what I I got before. I just went to PetSmart tonight. So I got my bin, obviously. I showed you guys that earlier. Um, yeah, my bin's right below me. Um, but I got this the week before I got the bin actually, cause I was just gonna, um, be, this is for cleaning her house cause I ran out of bedding. And I found this cute pink and white bedding and I've only used like, purple bedding and just plain white bedding before so i was like why not add a little pink splash into it so i got <laughs> i got two of these i know these don't look that big but they do expand but if i do need more then i'll go back I, um to actually like build the top of the house so i got zip ties um slash cable ties here they are um and then i got this this is what i was talking about earlier but i just didn't know where it was but it, it was sitting over across the room but this is called i don't really even know what it's called to be honest i mean it's just um you can get this at any hardware store i guess um it's hardware cloth is that what it says and i we did not expect to find storage bin at dollar tree but yeah we did um so i got this little Actually, no, I did not buy it from Dollar Tree. I bought it from Dollar General, guys. Because Dollar Tree is just $1 things. But anyway. Um, so I got this $1 drawer. And it's a little thing. I'm going to put it in the ground. Or somewhere in her house. So that she can go in it. And just go in there. I thought it was cute. Next thing, I got these little um, Christmas stickers. I may decorate the outside of her house for it. Or I may just use it for something personal for me. But I got these maybe for her um page um i got two bag things first thing i got this all of things market medley tips and tails millet treat for guinea pigs hamsters mice and other small pets here it is um yeah i was really wanting this i was really hoping to find this when i went to best market tonight so i was like really happy that i found it um tonight and i really hope that he likes these um they're like really healthy treats for hamsters um and any other small pet but yeah i have a hamster so here's this other bag this is filled with all the small stuff so i got her little water bowl i'm gonna be trying out a water bowl um i sh i'm gonna i see Minnie coming out her castle right now but um i'm gonna try to put this on like her water bowl and food um on a platform some type of platform so her bedding doesn't get in it somehow i don't know what platform i'm gonna use i know her house is dirty excuse that guys because i i've avoided cleaning it because i ran out of bedding and i'm saving the bedding i got for her house redecoration but she's gonna get a new house tomorrow so it's okay look her head is sticking out guys i know her food bowl is covered with um bedding i'm gonna get that out because she like knocks it in there at night but anyway okay so next thing i got is this little hanging toy oh my gosh she's looking at me she's like is that stuff for me is that stuff for me <laughs> she's literally looking over here she's she's like coming out her house anyway um so i got this hanging toy it's gonna hang at the top of the house and it was like really cute. It kind of is like naturey. So I was like, yeah, it's really cute. So I got this. So it's like a chew toy. I don't know if she's gonna pay attention to it or even chew on it, but we'll see. At least it looks cute. These were actually um one dollar. I I remember the price of this. This was one buck. Super cheap. Um, Milo sticks. Willow sticks. Oh my gosh. Willow sticks is what it's called. And there's it comes with a lot actually. And I'm gonna see if she likes these. Um, Willow sticks. Um, I've heard a lot of hamster YouTubers like those, so hopefully she likes those. 
um, it's a bendy bridge, so I'm, it's gonna bend, um, just like that on the package, and she can go under and hide out in there, it's gonna be cute, um, and I've been wanting this too, so I'm glad I found that there. So now, last but not least, we got a house, I, got, I t showed you guys this in the store, I'm pretty sure, um, if that ends up making it into the video, but here it is, it's a house, it has a window, a door, and a room so basically there's this big room and then there's like a bedroom or a room that she wants whatever she wants to do with it oh my god mini stretching over there but um yeah so look there's literally big room small room so she can go in there like her little house and then she also has a castle light out so she can go in either one hey guys so it is now the next day and it is currently 205 p.m and um don't ask why we are like literally like just now doing something but i am in pajamas i'm not in well i'm not in pajamas i'm just in lounge clothes before um i get dressed because i have to get my clothes ironed but um we are going to be going to dollar tree and dollar general there's like these two stores that are like built together um like they're both built together so it's kind of like a dollar heaven you can buy everything for a dollar in these stores This is actually really cool. Like it's just split, green, red. Wait, it's Family Dollar, not Dollar General. <laughs> so guys, we are in Dollar Tree and we're looking around for some stuff. We're in like this Christmas section right now. There's so much candy over here. Oh my God, I got so much, but I need the whole world. Mm -hmm. Look at the candy canes. What? I have these candy canes for a dollar. Mm. Mm. Look at this might be cute hanging up behind your tree. I was thinking like something kind of hanging on the on the wall behind the tree. It's kind of cute. Little penguin. Yeah, I got the empty space. Mm. Hey guys, so we just got back from Dollar Tree. And uh, I did not film that much in there, but I did get um, a thing for Minnie. I didn't really find a sand bath or anything, but I did find something cool for her. Um, but I'll show you that after I eat because I'm going to eat some pizza. But I will show you guys that in a second. Okay, guys. So now we are about to start building. And the, our storage bin is right here. The lighting is a little weird, but here it is. And we are about to start cutting it we have the zip ties what is this box cutter mm -hmm. box cutter um our wire is right there and we have our wire cutters as well so yeah we're about to get started and oh yeah we have our screwdriver over there wait no it's not a screwdriver a drill, a drill i meant sorry we have our drill and we have some duct tape over there as well. Um, some white duct tape so we can maybe clean up the edges if we need to. So yeah, let's get started everyone. <laughs>
got it out, guys. Okay, everyone, so here is the um, storage bin. We just removed the top part, and now we're going to be working on the wiring. Honestly, that's basically all we have. Oh, and then we have to get the zip ties and tie it on there. But yeah, we'll show you guys all the process. Okay guys, so now we are about to start the wiring. We just start, we just cleaned up the edges of the top of the bin and now we're gonna start putting the wiring, I guess that's what it's called, on the top. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna start drilling. Here's the drill. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna we put the wire on there. It's not completely on there yet, but here it is. It's like placed on there and we're gonna drill holes into it. Okay guys, so we have some rough edges. See, right there, it, like it's kind of sticking out. So we are drilling them opposite way, the opposite way. Okay guys, so we are opening the zip ties with that weird cutter. I don't know why she is cutting them with that. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be doing the wiring with the zip ties. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be cutting the zip ties that are on here. Can you guys see? Um, we put them all around in all the holes that we screwed in here. So now I'm going to be cutting these. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be cutting and I'm going to be getting almost as close as I can. So guys, this is how it's fitting on there. And this is how it kind of the finished look, I guess, looks like. 
Wow, that actually came out pretty well. Yeah. Hey guys, so it is a little bit, um, it's been 30 minutes since I last filmed, I'm pretty sure. And it is currently 7.30. And I'm going to be starting Minnie's cage. And um, honestly, it's not even a cage, it's just like a bin. Because it's literally a bin, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be starting. And yeah, I'm gonna be filming the whole entire thing with me decorating her house. Um, but I do have to clean first. Um, I have not actually cl properly cleaned the bin, I've not touched it at all, like with any cleaning products. So I have tons of napkins down here, and I have some. Um, I've had this for a while to clean her house now, but I'm gonna be using the whole, I'm gonna be using this to clean the whole entire bin. It is animal safe. It's Nature's Miracle um, Small Animal Formula Cage Cleanser Cleaner. So yeah, they actually sell this like probably every pet store. I've seen it at every pet store I've gone to. So um, yeah, that's where you guys can get this probably at any pet store but yeah i'm gonna be using this to clean her house and yeah let's get started okay guys let's get started okay guys so i just got done cleaning her little house and now I'm going to start putting bedding in it. Here's the log house. I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet. Okay guys, so basically what happened is um, the wheel broke. So, um, her wheel has broke before, but um, we've just glued it back together. And we are trying to glue it back together now. Um, it's drying right now, so I'm not gonna put her wheel in just yet. But I am um, about to clean her sand bath and, and put some new sand in there, some fresh sand. And um, yeah, but I did put her tunnel and that little um blue Heidi in here so there's our little tunnel right there I'm not gonna hide it just because it looks a little awkward and everything um and then here's her little thing I didn't put like much bedding in there but so it's kind of open for her to go in there and then I was talking about I'm gonna put a little bit of food on top of this as well but this is what it's looking at so far I moved the tunnel it used to be over here by the way um and this is open right here because um the hangy toy couldn't hang on top of the actual bin right here so i p put like string and then it's like it hangs off the string right right into there so like she can yeah but i'm going to quickly clean her sand bath and i'll be I'll, i may show you guys that but not much of it but 
yeah, let's go clean her sand bath. Also, guys, we never um, found a sand bath at Dollar Tree, by the, like, so I'm just using the same one of hers right now, unless, like, one day I find a bigger one, but, yeah, I'm just gonna use this little small green one, but it's okay, like, it's fine, like, it's not even that bad, but it's okay, so, I mean, honestly, I don't know if a bigger sand bath would have fit in her house anyway, so it kind of works out. So yeah, let me clean her sand bath real quick. And I probably need to charge my camera because it's kind of like about to go dead. So yeah, I'm probably going to clean my, I mean, charge my camera and then I'll be back with you guys. And her sand bath will be all clean and stuff. So I'll update you guys in a second. Hey guys, so it is currently, um, I, my camera obviously was charging just now. Um, but it is currently 9.50 p.m. Like, literally, um, my camera was charging for a while because it was literally, like, 7.35 or 40, like, seven, like when I charged my camera. So, I don't know why my camera was taking so long. Um, it was, like, somewhere around there when I started charging it. But, anyway, my wheel, as I told you guys, it broke. Oh my god, I think it's still broken, bro. So yes, guys, her wheel literally just broke. So tomorrow I'm going to go get another wheel. Or my brother will. Um, but I'll put her toys in there. It's just her wheel's going to be missing. So, um, like, don't mind that because her wheel's kind of missing. So there's like a big spot right there. That's where her wheel's supposed to go. But don't mind that. That's just going to be empty for tonight because... Yeah, but hopefully Minnie does not get super bored because she literally depends on her wheel for fun. Like, literally, that's the only thing she does all night is run on her wheel. So, hopefully, she does not mind that. I kind of feel really bad because, like, I mean, I know I would want a wheel if I was a hamster. But it's only going to be one night, Minnie, I promise. But we're going to put, um, I got to put her water and her food in her bowl and then... Um, put her toys around but right now I think I'm just gonna quickly put like these in and oh and her little um her millet treats I'm gonna give her like I'm gonna put those in there and then uh she also has some other toys in her house and then some edible toys in her food thing bag that I have in there so I'm gonna put her toys in and yeah Okay guys, so these are the edible toys that Minnie loves and she like literally eats these in the one night because she loves them so much. So I'm going to put like two of these, I usually put just two around her house and then I'm going to put her little tree willow sticks and, um, and the toys from her house over there. So yeah, let's get started. empty house so I feel really bad but I'm almost done doing her food and uh, her water bowl and I'm gonna actually do go do that right now so let's go do that Okay guys, so now I'm going to put the her water bowl and her food bowl there. I'm going to scatter her food around and stuff. And of course guys, right there, um, there is some stings. But I'm going to be putting her wheel there, so don't worry. Right now she's not have a wheel, but she will. 
Okay, let's take my water. Let's put it right there. And her food bowl is right here, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so now, guys, I'm going to be filling her bowl up with her... Well, I'm not gonna be filling it all the way up because I told you about her new um, feeding or, like, food routine. So I'm gonna be put, just putting, like, a, a little bit of food in here. A pinch. Well, I'm also gonna put well, a little more than a pinch, but... I don't want to put much, though, because... Yeah. Okay, that should be good. And then I'm going to get her, um, that. And, uh, so my mom's throwing away her wheel because we're going to get her a new one, sadly. But anyway. Um, so now, I'm going to give her a yogurt drop in her little bowl because I want, like, special stuff to go in her bowl because I don't want her to, like... You know, oh my gosh. Guys, it just went blurry. I don't know why my camera has been going blurry like that lately, but anyway. So, um, I'm gonna put, I always put, um, two health bits, but I'm probably gonna just put one in there, because I honestly don't want her to eat that money. The pet store, it's just like a seed mix, mixed into a ball. So, it's just like kind of health bits. Basically, just for food, just in a ball. But... Yeah, and then I always put health toppings. It's papaya uh, drops. I just put probably like literally a teaspoon. I mean, not a teaspoon. A uh, uh, pinch of that. There's her papaya drops. And now that should be good. Um, I'm actually, every time I clean her house, which is probably like, like every time I... Don't, I don't deep, I mean, yeah, I clean her house like once a week, um, deep cleaning, so every time I deep clean, I give her a little treat, um, like I give her the papaya drops and the health bit and the, um, yogurt drops, so I don't do that like all the time, of course, guys, but I do give her that as like her treat when I, um, like really deep clean her house but there you go there's her oh my gosh food bowl it almost went out okay so now i'm gonna put it right here it's kind of funny how this one's like bigger than the water bowl but there we go i may get a new food bowl because she has to like lean on this i don't know if i like that so i'm probably gonna get a new food bowl to be honest but so now I'm going to be taking some of her food and I'm going to scatter it all around her house. There we go. Scatter it around. She's currently over there right now. She's in an empty house, guys. Um, which is kind of sad, but that's why I'm making her a new house. And boom, now she has some things scattered around her house and food. And I actually do this quite often, not like every time I clean, but probably like every other time I clean. But I'm going to start doing this every time because it's a good eating routine. Like, I'm of course not going to put as much like as I did in this, like all the time, but I did put a few like treats in there. And then here's her water. So yeah, that's kind of like, that's basically it to be honest. I did have this guys up here. I did have this jar, but I did not end up using that. I don't think there's any room to honestly use this. Uh, so I don't even think I'm going to be using this, but I'm probably going to find another use for it, to be honest. But um, I may put like, I may use this like a storage thing for her, some of her treats or something. You never know. But I'm probably going to um, put her in there now. And um, I was telling you guys yesterday how I was maybe going to put these on there on her outside of her house so i may go ahead and do that and yeah i'll see you guys in one second if that works out Thank 
Okay guys, so here's Minnie. She literally, she I think she, you know, like, she went in her house just now. And I had to like tell her to go here. I was like, Minnie, go on in there. I was like, boom, go in there. <laughs> and she went in there, but like, yeah. Like, I think she now knows that she can go in this place. I don't know if she knew she could, but I don't know. But she, I don't even know what she's doing right now. Cause she's hard, hard. I mean, stop moving. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put her back in her house. Um, she seems to like like her house. She's very interested, but I bet she would be ten times interested if she had her wheel. And her wheel broke, so as I said, we have to go get her a new one. But it's like currently like late at night, so we cannot do that. It's currently 10:41 right now so that's not gonna happen but tomorrow hopefully we can get her a new wheel no come on let's go inside <laughs> hi guys it's aubrey so i did lose a little bit of the footage at the end but basically what i was saying um was that i did order the night angel silent spinner wheel and it is really recommended for um every hamster like um breed and yeah i got a really good wheel it will be here tuesday and it is currently um sunday but um i read i'd rather get a good wheel instead of a bad wheel so that's why i ordered one off of amazon and it's really recommended by a lot of people so i do hope that i do like it and when it does come i will do an unboxing of it and review it and i'll show you guys me putting it in her cage but i do hope you guys enjoyed the video and minnie is super happy she's actually um, already started burrowing and I'm super happy about that so if you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe like and turn on the notification bell and I'll see you guys on my next video bye peace